What's up guys, Tucker Singh here, SNS Smithing. Let's talk tapers. Alright guys, in this video we're going to do some quick demonstrations with quarter inch stock. Uh, different ways to do tapers. We're going to go uh, one way over the edge of the anvil, the other way on the horn. And we're also going to try to go over uh, forging it just on a flat in case you can't do it so well over the, an edge of an anvil or ASO you have at home or if you don't have a horn alright so let's get started on it and get some pieces in the fire guys so here we go we're going to start on the edge of the anvil here straight on this bar but uh, what you want to do is just hold it at a slight angle and then hit with your hammer at an angle like so hit it turn it hit it turn it hit it turn oh that was a bad miss hit there anyway hit it Turn it, hit it, turn it, hit it, turn it, hit it, turn it. You can work all four sides or two depending on what kind of taper you want. Going all four sides helps keep it central. Uh, put two, you can start moving the material a bit faster. You'll just have to even it up like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go in for another heat and go a little bit faster. So here we go. Just turn, hit, 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 turn, hit. Then just clean up your end there. Once you start getting it nice and thinned out at the end there, just use a little bit more finesse. Just like that. Now, uh, that is uh, the way I normally do my tapers, uh, especially on thinner stock. If you have uh, a bit thicker stock, you can use the edge of the anvil, like you do half off, half on blows with it and uh, keep pulling your stock back as you do it and then flatten out all those lumps uh, it helps chew in a bit more it's a little bit more aggressive uh, you'll have a lot more cleanup to do but it tends to go a little faster let's go to the horn next we're going to do it over the horn here pretty much the same principle thing about the horn is uh, if you don't get super accurate strikes it won't dig in and make as bad of a mark as the edge will because it's just that rounded corner and uh, I like used to I like to use the horn for drawing out so uh, wherever you decide to go up here where it's going to be smaller radius it'll draw it out and push it out faster up here you'll get a nice more clean taper forged out right away. But if you want to get more aggressive, uh, you can hold a steeper angle and hit straight down with your hammer and or go farther up. But uh, either way, it's basically the same thing. Uh, the same technique anyway. Next heat, we're going to go ahead and go to the face of the anvil and then we're just going to uh, go over how to forge it on a flat. Alright guys, uh, for this week's video shout out, it goes to uh, Speargrass Forge. He's uh, a coal smith. He's does he's does a very he yeah he just recently did a video very similar to this one uh, about drawing out over the edge of an anvil or drawing out without a horn. So go check him out. Uh, show him some love. All right, guys, let's get back at it. Now for doing it on the flat of the anvil face here, it's a 
lot nicer if you have a hammer with a very rounded face. Now it's very easy whenever you're doing it this way to um, uh, forge in a fish mouth in it and form a cold shut. So what I like to do here is uh, try to forge in the top edges there. It takes a lot longer this way, but uh, you can do it. It's a pain. You have a good risk of the edge of the hammer coming down and hitting your anvil and putting a dent in it. It tends to be a thing you don't ever want to do this way, but I mean, if there's ever some sort of scenario, uh, you can just keep forging it like this. Uh, it won't be as nice of a taper, and you see, even with tempting, we're getting a bit of a uh, fish lip going right there. So, for another heat, we'll come back, fix that, and then keep going. Alright, here to fix the fish mouthing there. We're just going to hit the end of it. Uh, you can also hold it on the anvil like this and hit from the top, but this bar is pretty long, so that's just going to be a pain. Now, we're just going to go ahead and keep forging in that taper. With this size bar and the hammer I got right now, I can't go much smaller than this end here without uh, risks of further damaging uh, my anvil, even though it is old and pretty beat up, but I don't want to put uh, dents in it. So you can't forge a super small taper doing it this way. Uh, I wouldn't ever really recommend to do it this way. But if you just have an ASO or uh, like a mild steel anvil and you're not worried about dents and you don't feel quite comfortable with going over the edge of the anvil, you can get stuff kind of done with uh, just doing it all on the face. Alright guys. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about these quick little tutorial-esque videos. Again, I would not recommend ever to do... The last one where you're just in the middle of the face of the anvil, that's more of a do not do than a do. But you can get by with it, you'll ding up your anvil. Alright guys, remember to check out Speargrass Forge. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our Facebook page for uh, clips and hints about what's coming up in the channel that you won't get here. Alright guys, see you around.